Hi everyone. Today we are doing a temperature test for the OXO pour over adjustable temperature kettle. Uh, so I've seen a couple things online. They were talking about how the temperature is not super accurate. Like they're saying, hey, it changes by plus or minus 10 degrees or something like that. And so uh, this test is really just verifying that what the temperature is saying and what it's set to on the OXO base unit is what the water actually is. So in this test, I've got, uh, this is filled to the maximum line in the kettle, and I've got a separate uh, temperature or thermometer in the top just to measure the temperature. Uh, what you hear sound-wise, that's how loud the sound is when it's boiling. And uh, as you watch through this, you'll see that the temperature is actually pretty accurate. So on the base unit, it's around 80, 81 degrees Fahrenheit, and on the uh, food thermometer, it's around 81 degrees, so it's off by a degree or so. And that's sort of what you get through the whole test. Temperature stays within a couple of degrees. That beep means that it's done. It is now at temperature. And as you can see, it reaches the 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but it kind of goes a little bit above it. So it's really kind of around 201 degrees Fahrenheit, 202 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're now in the hold phase, right? So it's finished boiling, it got up to temperature. Now it's gonna hold the temperature solid for 30 minutes. So I tested that. So I said, well, what's it gonna do? Is it gonna go up or down? And what's that level gonna look like? So this is now at four times speed, just holding it. 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so the container is not insulated, so it loses temperature slowly. And you'll see that it drops, you know, from 202, it kind of slowly drops down to 200, and then when it reaches 200, the, uh, the heating element kicks on and it warms it back up to 202 degrees. And it just repeats that cycle. And there you go. That is the temperature test for the OXO adjustable temperature pour over kettle. You can see that the temperature is pretty accurate and it is consistent and it kind of varies by about two to three degrees uh, while it's heating up. Thanks for watching.